Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to wrap stones in hemp in kind of a net way. Okay, so what you're going to need is hemp, obviously, or you can even use embroidery floss or any kind of string that you have like that. I'm going to be using this stone today. It's just a smooth black stone and it's kind of long and skinny. Um, you can use any kind of stone. Actually, you can use anything from like stones to bottle caps to shells even. This is um, a smaller flat one. And this is the first one I ever did. It's not great. I'm not proud of it. When you first start, you might pick up on it, you might not. I did not. You can see the knots aren't exactly, you know, perfect where they're supposed to be and symmetrical and like I said just do not get discouraged just try again what you're going to need is three pieces of hemp now the length that you have them is kind of up to you if you want to make it just a charm like this you can have it short I use about one arm's length, but it all depends on you. And I use the thinner hemp instead of the thicker hemp because if you want your stone to shine through, no matter what kind of stone it is, obviously you're going to want the smaller hemp. It's easier to work with. So take three, and I used arm's length. You can either use three or you can use four. I recommend four flatter, larger things to use for, but since I'm using such a small, thin one, use three. And you're going to fold them in half like you would start any bracelet, and you're going to loop it and tie in any kind of knot that you want so you have your loop at the end. Now, like I said, this part depends on if you want a charm or whatever you want to do with it. If you want to make it a charm, I would recommend making the loop small. But it's up to you. Okay, and pull it tight. Now what you're going to do is you're going to separate in groups of two. You have your three groups of two. Try to pull them so they're all going the same way. Let me see. Now, you're going to take your first group of two, and you're going to tie it in a knot just like this. I'm just going to wrap it and tie it. Now, when you pull it, don't pull it all the way up to the top, but leave a little bit of space. Doesn't matter how much space you leave just a little bit so there's some room and you're going to do that to all three sets of two and make sure when you're doing them that the knots are in the same spot you can see there that I have the knots same amount space between the big knot and the little knots. You're going to do that to all three. See. It's hard to see, but you've got all three there. Okay. And they're all separate. And this is going to be the top of your stone. Now, for the next ones, you're going to take one string from one knot, as you can see. Then you're going to take another one from another knot, and you're going to have them together. Separate all your strings back. Okay? And you're going to tie them just like you tied all the other ones. Now, for this one, the length, the distance between the two knots, the top knot and this knot, it's up to you. It all depends on your stone. When you use a thinner stone, you're going to want the knots to be a little tighter, but if you use a thicker stone, you're going to want more space. I'm using a thin stone, so it's going to be kind of tight. That's about how much space 
you can see. It was hard to tell the light. And you're going to do that. You're going to take the next two. You're going to do them. It's going to be a whole nother row of those knots. Like three sets of two. Just the same as you did on the top. You're going to pull it tight. That's where they are. It's going to look like this. Basically. You're making a net. So if you can visualize any kind of net, you can see the diamonds in between each connection. Imagine that. Okay? You see it's kind of, if you pull them all apart, it's a triangle. You open it, you can stick your finger in it, and it's kind of a net. Okay? So, stick your stone in just to see how it's going. Make sure everything's going good, and you're going to pull it tight so you can see how much space you have. And you keep going. You're just going to keep doing rows of that until you get to what you think might be the end. You can just see this is one that I cut finished. And it just looks like a small, tight net. And that's about what it's going to look like when you finish but with a stone on it instead. You're just separating and tying together. Now, if you have any questions about this, if I wasn't clear enough about it, you can just comment below, and I will gladly clarify. Now, the hemp that I'm using, it's not as processed as most hemp, so it's really difficult to tie knots. So I would recommend using smoother hemp. Lot easier. You can get it pretty much at any major store, craft store. You can order it online. See, as you're going down, it's just it's going to be kind of like a cylinder of knots. I'm trying to be as unconfusing as I can right now. Really hard to explain, but really easy to do, I promise. You can see, it just looks like a mess of knots, but I promise it's not. E between each knot, it's kind of, I measure it, you know, by eye, but if you want to get an idea of what I'm, what I'm meaning, is take the end of your pinky. That's about the distance between each knot that I'm using right now. stone in, see how it's coming. Each row do this, that way you make you know that you don't make it too big or too small. You know how much more you need to go. This is what it looks like on the stone. Gonna do another row. And again, just so I'm being clear got your triangle. You see? You're taking one string from one of them, taking one string from another beside it. And those are what you're using. You're tying. It's like you're connecting each knot. If you go and check out my Instagram at Earth to Angel Hemp, you can see all the stuff that I've been working on. And if you have any questions about any of it, feel free to 
comments on it, and I will do my best to explain or I'll make a tutorial about it. And because the stone that I have, it goes from thinner to thicker, you're going to want to make sure that the knots aren't too tight getting to the end. It all depends on the rock or stone or whatever it is that you use, your wrapping. So you've got your triangle again after I've tied three knots. You've got your triangle again. And it's like, see that? That's what you'll be tying. Check my stone again. You have to pull it real tight. Okay, this is good. See, so once you get to the end, you're going to want space between your last knot and the end. That way, when you pull it, it doesn't have a bunch of knots crowded at the end. Make sure it's all pulled tight. You don't want it to fall out, especially if it's a stone that's important to you. All right, the way you tie it off, that's all up to you. But the way I do it is I just do it the same way I've been doing all of these knots, is I just wrap it and tie it. However, I make it loose. That way, when I push it down and tie it tight, it helps stretch all the knots tight. You can see a loose knot, and you just pull. I'm sorry if this is hard to see. I'm having to record it with my phone. My camera died. And there you go. Now, when you finish it, if you want, if it's a charm that you're doing, um, you can either cut it off here, and I like to use a little dot of hot glue just so it doesn't come untied. But you can either cut it off completely and use the glue, like I said. I like to cut it right here, which leaves a little bit, almost looks kind of like a loose pom-pom type thing. Or you can just make a bracelet, and since you have, you know, two, three groups of two, you can braid it, you can do square knots over it, whatever you want to do, and you can just loop it around and tie it in the loop. It's up to you, though, however you want to do it, and that is how you wrap stone and hemp like a net. Um, any questions, comment below. I will try my best to explain it. If, um, if it's too confusing for you, please let me know and I'll try to make another tutorial because I know this was kind of fast and confusing. Um, again, check out my Instagram, at Earth to Angel Hemp. Ask me about anything and I will answer. I will get to it, I promise. Um, be sure to like this video. Share it if you can. Hopefully I'll have a store open soon, so my stuff will be available, and I might have a Facebook up soon as well. But I hope you enjoyed. hope I wasn't too confusing for you, and thank you for watching.